Hello everyone. Welcome to DevOps Lover YouTube channel. So in current video, we are going to learn about what is Docker volume and how to do the Jenkins setup by using Docker volume. So Docker volume is mainly used for mounting your data, which is inside the Docker container at outside host server. So with this diagram, you can visualize this data is used by three different containers and you can able to store or you can mount your data which is stored in inside in docker you can mount at outside server or at host or you can persist that data so that your if your docker container goes down or if that docker is restarted your application will be full fully up and running by using that particular data which is mounted uh, by using volume uh, mounting so to start with Jenkins setup, you required, you need to create a uh, Docker volume first and then uh, as a prerequisite, you required Docker uh, setup as well with you. So if you don't have uh, the Docker setup or Docker uh, prerequisite with you, you can go ahead with the existing video tutorial where I have uploaded uh, the details about how to install Docker or how to do the dockerize setup or docker commands as well so once you are confident and you have the required knowledge about docker you can start the next step uh, with the jenkins setup as well so you require docker installation then the next step is you can pull the jenkins image on your machine and once that image is with you you can create the jenkins uh, volume for that and you can mount your jenkins image uh, data on that particular volume so there are only three steps you required for that so you need to create docker volume you need to run your content by mounting that particular newly created mounting path with docker uh, or jenkins home path and you can also pass the Jenkins image uh, for Docker run command. So let's uh, start uh, on that. So let's say uh, you have the Linux machine with you and uh, Docker images commands are handy. You can create this volume mounting As per step one, Jenkins data new uh, volume I'm creating. So let's see, like it's created, and now you can you are running uh, the Jenkins image by passing uh, the Jenkins image as well as the required parameter where you are passing Docker volume as well, which is mounting the Jenkins data with this volume. So let's execute it once you have executed that so it will start pulling the docker image and it start it will start running the docker image as well so you will be able to see your jenkins is up and running so these details are mentioned on these particular blogs as well so this is my DevOps lower blog where I have added these details about Jenkins volume steps and uh, Jenkins setups as well. So by using this command, you can start start your uh, Jenkins setup by using Docker volume. So once uh, your setup is up and running, you can open your browser with this particular port. So here you can see I'm I have given 8080 port for my Docker container. So let's execute this on your browser. You can see your Jenkins is loading. So for as an initial uh, password uh, for the Jenkins setup, it will be stored on where Jenkins on secret initial password uh, steps so here you can see like this particular token key is available and by using that you can 
do uh, this setup. So once that is logged in, you can update that. And once you have did these setups, uh, there will be two options. So you can go with the recommended option as install suggested plugin. It will start installing required plugin. You just required network for that. It will take some time. So just stand recap, there are only three steps. You required prerequisite as a Docker setup with you. Then you need to create Docker volume. Then you need to run the Docker image where you need to pass required steps or require parameters for the, that command. And once that is passed, you can just run that Docker image. So just remember here, you should have the basic idea about the Linux. Also, you should have the basic idea about the Docker to start with the Jenkins. So with the previous video, I have explained what is Jenkins and how we can do the Jenkins setup. What are the use cases of Jenkins? So Jenkins tool is basically used for the continuous integration where we can integrate multiple tools with that. Jenkins is also having the multiple plugin support. So it's having the thousand plus plugins with it. So right now with this installation, we are installing particular plugins which are suggested with the initial set. So if user required, there are some additional plugins or additional use cases. Once Jenkins is up and running, you can install that plugins as well. So in next video, I'm having that separate topic like how we can manage the plugins in jenkins how we can install that or how we can uninstall that so let's see uh, once this jenkins plugin is installed that jenkins setup is available for us and once that jenkins setup is available we can create the jenkins jobs or we can try out any operations with this setup So normally uh, after this command or uh, for that plugins installation, it will take four to five minutes. And uh, at the background, you can see the logs are uh, getting up and your Jenkins setup is up and running and the operation is happening on that particular set. It will take next one, two minutes more. Yeah, you can see that plugin installation is done and you can create uh, users for login. So let's say for demo purpose, I'm giving it admin admin. Okay, it require one email as well. So let's give this email and click on save and continue. So once that is saved, uh, your Jenkins URL will be with localhost 8080 and that will be available on browser. So here you can see your Jenkins is up and running and you can create jobs with it freestyle jobs or pipeline job. So this is how uh, you can set up with these three setup only or three steps only. You can create easily Jenkins setup by using Docker volume. So I hope you understand the steps for setting up Jenkins cluster or Jenkins setup.
by using docker volume and the steps for that so i hope you like this video tutorial let's subscribe this channel if you haven't subscribed that and provide uh, more feedback to us like if there are any uh, improvement you see like this needs to be covered in upcoming videos that also we can definitely accommodate also uh, for uh, the steps uh, you can also go over on the devops lower blogs where these all steps are mentioned with details like how to create docker volume or how we can run that particular docker run command thank you